Okay, you two. We're going to go over my GX air pump. It's 18 volt powered pump. It'll pump at least 4,500 for the PCP so I can keep my air rifles pumped up. Pretty nice. You don't need any water. You don't need uh, oil. You don't need a lot of that. Maybe way later on in life of the compressor. You pull this and there's another one somewhere else on here. Maybe that's the only one. Put a little grease in there. Okay, you got your uh, your dial indicator, your pressure gauge. This is your pressure relief. Counterclockwise is relieve pressure, clockwise is give it pressure. Okay, so I have two different filling ways for different guns. This is an AEA. And it has what they call a fill probe. Okay. So this end clips into the hose on the GX pump. And goes into the slot right there. Like so. Okay. So you fill on the back side. And you make sure that it's just flush. The piece. But you want to put it in before. Before you uh. Well, you want to hook it up before you put it on. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. So my Air Force gun. That's my Air Force Talon P. Carbine. And that's a power wheel to it. Let's see, I got it set on power 5 and I'm shooting 20.4 20 20 grain pellets. That's the moderator or what you would call a silencer. Okay. And it has a gamma red dot and it has a nice scope and it's only about like eight inches it's not very long but uh this is how it goes okay this thing came with everything don't need nothing this piece right here it just pull it back and it clips right onto here pull this rubber cap up and there's a nipple underneath, see it? Right there. Okay, so this just plugs onto there like that. Oops, it's hard to do it with uh, hands full. Okay, so it's locked on. All right, so I'm gonna start filling it up so you can see how the compressor works, how noisy it is, etc. So I'm going to flip the gun over so I can see the gauge. Just lay it right there like that. There you go. That's the gauge. I already have... Let's see. Can't really see it from this. But there you go. I have around 2,000 in it. I want to keep it at 3,000. You can keep these things filled up according to the owner's manual. At maximum, whatever it fills, mine's 3,000 or 250 bar. Indefinitely, you can leave it loaded or well full air indefinitely. So, that's a good thing. That's a real good thing, made in the U.S. Alright, so I'm going to turn this thing on. The switch is on the back. It usually doesn't take more than four minutes, okay? So... What I want to make sure is my pressure is off, right? Okay, so I want to go back here and push the on. There we go. A little noise, you get that back. Next time I'm going to turn the pressure to the chain. I don't want to tighten it too tight, there's a little plastic cushion. Probably take three minutes to pump that up. 